Well, the movie's getting closer and the hype's getting real. Hey everybody, welcome back again. We've uh, got a few more pops to review and the big thing this uh, month's been Captain Marvel. Last week I uh, released a, a video about the flying Captain Marvel glow-in-the-dark pop, which was an absolutely stunning pop. We've had some more drop this week, which is fantastic. Some of these that I'll show you now are actually still only on pre-order for Australian stockers. Not sure about in America if they've actually released them or if they're still on pre-order, but I don't know why. I'm picking up these before they're coming out. Uh, to the pub before they open up for everyone to get so hey I'm not going to say no to this uh, so we'll go through and we'll have a look at them and we'll uh, we'll have a look closely at the pops that we've got so let's start with the uh, the main lady Captain Marvel so this is the standard Captain Marvel she's just in her uniform but no helmet or no and no mohawk Let's open her up and have a look. So here we are guys, this is Captain Marvel in her uniform. So you can see it's similar to the uniform that she had in the flying suit. It's pretty much exactly the same uniform, uh, except it's just uh, without the helmet, without the mohawk. They've done it. A great job with the hair. I mean, it looks really good. Funko, for some reason, do a really good job with the hair. Um, and the detail on these have been fantastic. This comes up on the little stand. Uh, so it's it's got something uh, uniform to stand on. And yeah, it's, it's a good little pop here. Let me get a good focus for you. There we go. So fairly detailed. So I ignore the fact that you can see the spring. I am holding it from the head. You can see it relaxes a bit when I do hold it from the feet, so don't get too nervous if you see that bit of metal, that will go away. Alright, let's move on to the next one. <clears throat> so, our next one we're going to look at is everyone's favourite uh, secret agent, Mr. Nick Fury. You see that there? He's wearing his, uh, wearing his suit, looking all... Uh, Awesome, like uh, Samuel L. Jackson. So let's open this one up. One detail I'm finding on this, on the Captain Marvel Pops, is this little star. I think it's cool. It's only a little detail on the box. You don't see it unless you open it. I like it. It's just added, it's an added difference. Again, show that it's uh, not a counterfeit or a fake. Uh, it's actually just showing that it's uh, part of the Captain Marvel range. All right, here he is, Nick Fury. So that's what he's looking like in his little outfit. Looking pretty fantastic, pretty dapper. He's, uh... So I believe this is the only Nick Fury in the range. He's got his little holsters on the side, his little gun. Cute little pop stands on its own. Doesn't need a stand. Pretty cool. It's part of the Captain Marvel range. Let's go for something cute now. Let's go for Goose. This is Goose, Goose the Cat. Now, there was a bit of um, talk about how, what role Goose plays or um, what Goose is. Now, Goose in the comics apparently was actually called Chewy rather than Goose. Now, they've gone with Goose because Goose is uh, one of the code names from uh, Top Gun. Goose and Maverick were two of the main characters. Tom Cruise, Val Kilmer, in the in the Top Gun original Top Gun movie from the eighties. Uh, as we know, Captain Marvel set in the nineties, so um, calling the cat Goose is a bit of a pay, a, a bit of homage to um, to Top Gun, considering that you know Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers, is a fighter pilot. So this is Goose. See if we can get that focused for you. There he is. So Goose has his own little name tag. It says Goose on it. Now this is the non-flocked version. I haven't been able to get the flocked version yet, but this one is, uh, is one of the ones, along with Nick Fury, that's actually still out on 
pre-order for most Australian stockists. Uh, so, you know, when you get the flock one, we'll have a look at that. But, you know, this is just the, the standard goose pop for the Captain Marvel range. So this next pop's a bit of a controversial one. Not because of what it is, but because of how it was handled before. So there was a lot of conjecture over certain people and certain characters they were playing. One in particular was Jude Law's character. There was no... How to say? There was a lot of talk about who he was actually playing. Whether he was Cap, the, like the original or the first Captain Marvel, which... In the comics, Captain Marvel was a man, a Kree, who then passed on his powers to Carol Danvers, who became Miss Marvel, and then became Captain Marvel. So, that was the comic version of how it worked. And in the comic version, there was a villain called Yon rog He was the bad guy, obviously, and there was a lot of conjecture as whether Jude Law's character was Captain Marvel or Yon rog now, when these pops were released, there was one pop that was released with the name Yon Rog. That's this one here. Problem is, Funko or Marvel realized and quickly tried to get this covered up by only releasing um, uh, this pop named as Star Commander. Now, if you look on the checklist sites and you look previously to this, actually, even some of the... Um, the Australian website on pop culture actually has this as a pre-order as Star Commander, but it's actually Yon Rog. So this is a giveaway for the movie. Spoilers. So here's a spoiler. Yon Rog is being played by Jude Law. So there you go, guys. Breaking it to you first. Uh, but let's open this one up and have a look at it. So this one's a little bit of a heavy pop, very big set body, so it's going to have no issue standing up. Let's give it a go. And it's going a little bit wobbly, but it's not too bad. Here we go. Yon Rog, or as Marvel want everyone to know it as, Star Commander. So a yeah, pretty detailed outfit. Again, if you've seen the, the trailers, you'll see that the Star Command... The, the Kree Star Command will wear a green uniform. You see he's got his helmet. It looks pretty much similar to uh, the flying Captain Marvel helmet. See from the back. Again, the detail in this is absolutely fantastic as well. So yeah, there you go. Yon Rog will be in Captain Marvel. There's a bit of a... Early spoiler for you guys. It surprised me too. As soon as I saw it, I said I had to get it. Because just for that on its own. Anyway, one more pop to go. Alright, final pop. Vers. So Vers is, if you don't already know, Vers is the short version of Danvers. So if you looked at the trailers, that one of the early trailers, you would have seen that there was a scene where her, where Carol Danvers' dog tag was actually split in half, and you can see Carol Dan, but not the verse part. I think I had a life here. What aren't you telling me? So it seems to be, from what's being read in, from, from what we, what people know, is that this, the reason why the Cree call her verse is because that's the only part of the dog tag that they actually saw when they found her so they called her verse thinking that's her name bit of trivia let's open her up so here we are we have verse similar to the captain marvel pop obviously with the green uh star command uniform bobblehead as well as with all this all the marvel rangers again detail on the suit very similar to the blue uh, red and gold suit that she wears as captain marvel with the star and the like obviously we see that change during the movie Again, the outfit pretty much very similar. And there we go. So there we are. That's the five latest um, 
Captain Marvel that are out. Uh, so there are a couple more out which I haven't got as yet. So the so we've got this Captain Marvel has a chase. So it's this Captain Marvel with the helmet. There's also an FYE, I believe, in America, the FYE exclusive, which is... I need to check that. I can't remember if it's FYE or someone else. Uh, but they have a glow-in-the-dark version of, of this one. Uh, it is available in Australia. I saw it today. I just didn't pick it up from a different store because I was hoping to get the chase of this, and I would have got that at the same time. But... Instead, I've got these other ones, which a lot of them haven't been released generally and are mainly on pre-order. I was able to get these, so you know, I got them from EB Games in Bondi Junction. So it pays to check out um, what is available. EB Games in Bondi Junction is pretty cool. Adam there has a fantastic collection. Um, he's been a collector for many years and he has an awesome collection. Uh, my wife said to me, if she sees me with a, a collection that side she's moving, size that she's moving out. I don't want to scare her, but I'm probably going to get one that size. <laughs> anyway, so guys, there we go. That's the next uh, next range of Captain Marvel pops that have come out uh, for this series. Uh, when I get some more, I will uh, do another one. But yeah, there's your first look at some of these, uh, especially the Kree ones with Yon Rog and uh, and Vers. So yeah, keep on uh, keep on uh, funking. If you like what you see, subscribe, hit me with a like, join me on my Instagram page, Funko underscore popping underscore popping underscore mad. Um, there's a little thing just up here. Uh, apart from that, have a great night, guys. We'll uh, chat to you when we get some more pops.